then we have clear skies, then we have heavy rain and hailstorm, and, and then, then the sun. sunshine. With it all in what, 15 minutes? Right. No, the weird thing is, the water in the harbour is brown very because brown. it's tainted off the, I've told you man, it's off coming off the uh, peat. That's, it. That's tannin from the peat. Andrew, can we fit down here? Really? Go on then. No, but there's also a drain pipe. I know. That it runs. Oh, it does look it's, very tannin. It's like tannin. Off. Yeah, it that is run off. That drain pipe is run off from the thing. From the peat bogs. Right, now what is this here? Because I didn't mind paying for parking. Uh, no. No overnight parking. Right, but let's just, we might go for a walk on the beach though. We'll see. That's a shame it's no overnight parking. Uh, no overnight parking. But that's the perfect beach. <laughs> but that is the, the perfect beach. Oh, Bracken is going to be in all. Oh, oh, you stay out of the water. So we've just stopped off uh, here, we've been in there for the last hour. Um, it's a lovely museum all about uh, the island of Lewis. Um, the history about it, about the crofts, about the, the chessmen that was found. Um, absolutely brilliant and the staff in there are so friendly. We did manage to get a cup of coffee and a slice of cake in there. Absolutely wonderful. Gift shop that's in there is really nice. But the stuff are really, really good in there. And the toilets were exceptional. They were actually. They the were. toilets were really, really nice. So, yeah, so if you're popping along here, I uh, can't remember what road it's on. I will put a link in there, but I would highly recommend popping into here and saying hello to the stuff that's in there and get yourself a lovely cup of coffee and some food. Absolutely brilliant. Right, so you've just stopped off at a shop. Yeah, so first of all, we we left that uh, museum thing, which, was, which was great. Yeah, absolutely Beautiful. spot on. Well worth a visit if you're up this way. Yeah. It, even if you're not in uh, like history or anything like that, it's even just the coffee shop was really nice that they had in there. Well, it was that, a painting gallery as well. Yeah, and the staff were really friendly oh, and really helpful. Yeah. So spot on. Yeah. But anyway, we're now driving back down. Um, through Lewis um, to another beach area where I want to try and get a park up for the night. It is uh, still about an hour and 20 away. Um, so what we've actually done is we got off the ferry, we drove north, well we sort of 
we sort of drove sort of northwest for a little bit then we turned right and then drove north I'm now driving back down that road and where we turned right I'm going to go straight across and then carry on down the southwest side of Lewis if that makes sense anyway I'll put a map up so you can see but just traveling back down this road just dawned on us that we didn't have any drink left so <laughs> we decided we'll get some more fuel even though Alison keeps telling us keep putting fuel in stop at the next garage and top up top up. right I've just topped up again so me, me tanks now crammed with fuel again <laughs> um, which is actually quite good because the diesel um, is 144 a litre which good. isn't bad at all I mean it's it was that just a few weeks back back home um, just before we left it was down to 139 a litre uh, where we live um, but they could have been greedy but I was honestly expecting and very surprised I was expecting it to be about 170 180 a litre um, but it was 144 so I'm quite pleased with that yeah so we filled our boots as well um, so the shop so this garage yeah. it just looks like an old wrong turn garage <laughs> all you horror buffs will know oh what I mean God. <laughs> um, yeah it just looks like an old garage <laughs> but you go in my god it sells everything from jubilee clips dashboard polish pizzas your fanciest cuisine ever as much variety of alcohol as you can think of and you can buy wetsuits, boogie boards, <laughs> mops, paint, brushes. Really? Anything you want, it's there. It's like it's like a walk in Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the only way What's to describe it. Amazon? It might have been. Okay. might have been Amazon warehouse or a garage on the front. Right. <laughs> but absolutely amazing. So if you come to the Isle of Paris and you need anything. This is Lewis. Right, Lewis. Well, even Harris. Is it Lewis? That, uh, it's north, isn't it? Yeah, I keep getting mixed up. We're in the north side yeah. part of it. We still been here all day and we still haven't figured out what where we are. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What a good day. If you come across to the Outer Hebrides and you need anything, <laughs> you'll find it in that shop. I'll yeah. guarantee it. We'll find the coordinates. So <laughs> Anyway, we're going to flick you around, let you have a little bit of road, and then now uh, we'll catch up with you later. Yeah. We've got plenty of time. It's Alison. Oh. <sighs> First thoughts. First thoughts is, oh my god. Ah, 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 How beautiful is this? Ah, Lucky, stop. Ah, Look at her. Look at her. What are you barking for? It's because we've stopped barking for a minute. We're in the water. I brought in, no, you're not going on this beach, not yet. And we had all weathers today, but this is like amazing. So dramatic. Hey, get here! <laughs> right. Do you want to go on? Do you want to? Right, Bracken, are we? 
Well, I'm going back to the car, it's late, it's cold. Not the best day to do. So, morning everybody. Um, what day are we on? Day six in Stilney Bridge. Day six in the Big Brother Camper. Still no midges. Yeah, we've done pretty well with that. Um, I haven't had any midges at all throughout the whole trip. Obviously a lot of that will do with the time of year and the winds and the cold and the wet weather and stuff like that. But it's yeah, been sunny. Yeah, we've been really lucky. <laughs> we've had some nice days. Yesterday, um, as I say, we came on to uh, Lewis. Harris? Lewis? Still mixed up. We got the ferry across onto the main island and we we travelled north to the most northerly point yesterday, which was about an hour and a half. Um, and then once we'd had a bit of look around up there, we stopped and had a, a cup and a, a cake in that museum thing that I'd showed. And then we travelled back down about an hour and 50 to an absolute stunning beach. But we're in the car park area and it's a little walk to the beach. It's not far, it's maybe 100 yards. It's accessible. Um, yeah, it is accessible, but we're currently in the car park area at the minute. Um, it's £10 a night donation to stay in the car park. We have paid the £10 because we think that's really reasonable. There is a little toilet block, um, which are practical, we'll say. The clean. Um, there's male, female and disabled toilet in there. Um, so that's ideal and that was worth the 10 quid. And where we're actually parked, it is hard standing. Um, I'll try and show you a little bit later, but it is absolutely bouncing with rain at the minute. Um, so just about to cook some breakfast. Um, so yeah, got a couple of nice uh, little bits and pieces to do for the breakfast. And we're cooking in a little orange today, the big black pan. So, and as usual, I'm going to start off with a very controversial butterly butterly. Because it just works. Let's take a wallop of that in there. Nice gentle gas. that down just warm the pan through while I'm organizing everything else it's times like this you realize if your van's flat on a on level so a couple of brushes of bacon just getting slung in start with them So we've also got Simon Hortiv, the Scottish butcher, sliced haggis. Microwave in two minutes. Yeah, we'll stick it in the pan eh? instead. Oh, I hear it when they have these peely packs where you just kind of peel them. You resorted to use a knife. I'm going to piece half of this because there's two in each side. So I'll have the two in this side to do it. Knife cut right again. You might notice when I'm cooking, I never have my pan turned on high. I'd rather cook it through than burn the arse out of it. So I'll just tap my time with it. That's the logic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alison's got a habit of just burning everything. Everything comes on high and everything burns. 
yeah, it doesn't cook now just as well. I don't know if I'd already mentioned the story from the other day. So I came in from work absolutely braid out as normal. Um, fell asleep straight away on the settee. Alison decided we only ever eat ready meals now, so we actually go out and we buy ready meals um, and we we use them simply because it's easier to cook in the house. Uh, we do struggle to cook sometimes in the house, especially when I'm braid out. Um, but Alison decided she would cook, so she put, we had like a nice chicken meal in the foil, put that in the oven, and we had some like baby uh, boiled potatoes in like a parsley sauce thing. She put them in the oven. Half an hour later, all the potatoes were just lying on the oven rack, and all the plastic that she put it in the plastic tray, all of that was just dripped through and onto the bottom of the oven. So yeah, narrowly avoided a fire there. I read the instructions. Yeah, just not very well, pet. You're just not very well at reading instructions. Yeah. Yeah, so get some light above this pan, man. It's like a studio now, look. Mm -hmm. So we've got our bacon cooking nice and our two bits of haggis. So it's looking good. So I'm just going to let that cook through a little bit and then give it a bit shifty round, back in two minutes. So I've just chucked a, another little bit of butter in there, just to run underneath them potato cakes, cook them up nice. Looking good, plate's ready. And the minute I get this onto my plate I'll be chucking an egg in there. That was just a 10 second shot of the pan so you could enjoy the moment like me. Let's get some of this plate up. Gonna go for the potato cakes on the bottom. And for the haggis on top of the potato cake. Then we're going for the bacon on top of the haggis. Oh, oh. You know what that's calling for? Two eggs instead of one. I thought it was calling for a um, defibrillator. No, not yet. Here, pet. I don't know when I'm going to go, but when I do go, I'll go with a full belly. One egg. Let that. Obviously, I'm not on the level, so I'm gonna turn my pan a bit. Yeah, there's no stylish about my eggs, like, because I'm not flat at the minute. You're a bit bumpy. I'm a bit bumpy. Whoa, let's have a look at these eggs. Oh, no, no, no. There you go, look at them. Look at them. Now, what I'm gonna do, because eggs cook a little bit easier, put the lid on. That's the stacks so far. They're looking nice. It's me two eggs flipped. Flipping your eggs off way through cooking. You still get a runny look yolk, but you get a nice fluffy white as well. I'll show you that in a second. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for another outstanding breakfast. Oh yes. Oh, oh, there's my egg. I think we'll even prod this one and get this one broken over the top. So we have potato cakes, haggis, bacon and eggs with black pepper. I'll be back in a minute. Well, as to be said, that breakfast was absolutely beautiful. It was probably the best breakfast I've ever cooked. The haggis was absolutely spot on. The potato cakes on the bottom, really nice. Um, and obviously the eggs. 
kind of beat a soft lay egg like that um, and the bacon was cooked really nice so that was all done in little orange the big black pan so absolutely amazed with that I've now just uh, filled the kettle up so I'm going to use the big black pan as my sink and get everything washed up cleaned up and have a cup of coffee have a and then pan is the sink. Aye. I've uh, done this the other day. Worked a treat because the black pan's actually bigger than the sink. Right. So anyway, once I get all this sorted and the coffee sorted, I'll take you outside and you know, have a quick glance at this park up where we're at. So we're currently at, this is where we're, we're parked. Um, it's a place called Luskin Tyre. Um, it's quite a nice pop up. So you've got uh, firm ground. You can see all the campers that's there. We're in this corner one, which has worked out quite nice because the ground's quite, although it's hard standing, it's covered in sand. So it means we can step off the grass so we're not traps and sand in the van all the time. There's a nice stream running down the back there. Views of the mountains. Access to the beach is just through this gate and just along that pathway these toilets as i say it's just a male female and a disabled toilet there's toilet donation payment and payment for overnight so it's 10 pound a night uh, if you want to stop here it's, it's well worth it so like i say you get that i've actually just noticed there's fresh water tap as well and which has come handy for us there's also some bins to get rid of a couple of bags of rubbish so all in all really good definitely worth a look out if you're staying here and it gives access to a stunning beach we're not going to go back down to there we did have a quick look yesterday but the weather's just chopping and changing all the time so we're not going to bother anyway I'll catch you in a minute so I've currently just pulled over this is just along the road from where we stopped last night this is a place called, I think it's Seilbost Beach. It's absolutely stunning. But there is a little park up just further along the way where you can park up and get access down to the beach. But obviously access to the sea will be difficult because you know, if you can see the waves in the distance, that's where the waves are. And then obviously it all the, the water runs in to like a channel. Um, but the but the the sandy channel beachy thing is absolutely massive and i think this is called Seilbost beach so it's s-e-i-l-e-b-o-s-t i think it's Seilbost, how it's pronounced but absolutely stunning beautiful seas beautiful golden sands so yeah we'll crack on a little bit i'll Leave the camera running on the dash so you can see this park up because it is just along the way. So this is the, the park up for that beach. So this is a proper camping spot. Um, it's a dedicated place. So yeah, I've got um, a couple of tables, easy access down to this beach, which is absolutely stunning. And you're into the, the, the tidal channel as opposed to the waves. Um, again, if you look right out in the distance, that's the waves for this beach. And it's not raining here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not raining here. Got but a bit of a rainbow coming up as well. Yeah. Yeah, five minutes along the road where we were originally parked, it's been raining all morning. But yeah, stunning beach.
So this is going to be our park up for the night. Um, just coming along that road, we are just in a little lay-by, but uh, the views is just outstanding. Beautiful, stunning views. And other than the wind, it's really quiet. There's a few cars passing at the moment, but as I say, there's, uh, it's ideal, there's people just been passing just to take photographs, because obviously it's beautiful. Um, oh, I'll just show you the bit road, excuse the wind. <laughs> So we've actually just been along that road. I'm going to explain a little bit more on the on the map when I get back in the van. But I'll explain what we've actually done and which way we came today. Just so you can see what's what. It'll make more sense on a map. Right, so I just thought I'd try and show you a little bit on the map on Google Maps, just on the on the screen. Yeah, Bracken, he's looking at me pretty fingers. So on the map. We got the ferry from the Isle of Skye to a place called Tarbot and then we drove out of the ferry terminal, turned right and followed the road all the way right up to the north point which is Ness, uh, Port of Ness or Ness is the Gaelic I think um, and then we drove all the way back down to sort of the middle bit then we drove all the way around this way and then when we get to this beautiful bay further down so we drove all the way back past the port and then we went to a beach called Luskentire which was a beautiful beach and then as you drive further back round there's the beach that I uh, mentioned that uh, Sailbost, I think it's called, or Sailbost. Then we followed the road all the way around again, all the way around the coast. Carried on around the coast, all the way down the bottom. Now we get the ferry tomorrow from a place called Leverborough. So we thought we'd try and get somewhere close, so we drove past Leverborough and then we went down here and then we decided to have a drive up this coast again. Um, so on the north or uh, well, southeast coast, tried going along there a little bit, but it's just a bit barren. There's not a great deal there. Um, so we came back and we're now parked here, um, which is again basically the the southern point. Um, and tomorrow we've just got a short drive to back to the ferry uh, to get the ferry back over onto the other island, which is. Burnaria, so we get the ferry across to there. So hopefully that makes a bit more sense. Um, and I believe, yes, there's a bridge from Burnaria across onto um, the North Uist. So that's the plan. Hopefully that made a bit more sense, trying to show you on the map, because it wasn't easy to try and explain it. Um, so yeah, so it is only lunchtime, but we've got this park and spot. We're going to hang on to this one. Showed you the views, it's absolutely stunning. Um, the weather is just changing constantly throughout today. We've had beautiful sunshine, torrential rain, sunshine again. Um, 
it's just not man's mind up literally when i say sunshine and rain it's literally five minutes of sunshine five minutes of rain five minutes of sunshine five minutes of rain and the wind is just relentless so we're just gonna have a chill out day here um stay here for the rest of the day in the morning get up have some breakfast get the van sorted get the dog sorted and then we're off to the ferry which is i believe lunchtime ish mm -hmm. Yeah, lunchtime ish for the ferry, so there's no great rush. I'm gonna read my book. So, yeah, Alison's reading that book, and I'm just gonna chill out. So, yeah, catch you in a bit. Morning! Well, we um, had a nice, cozy night last night in the van. Andrew's not feeling too great today, so I'm doing the start of this. Um, it was still spectacular scenery. But the weather was weird. It was five minutes of sun, five minutes of rain. It was like every cloud that went over us had to have a cloud burst. But the scene was great and we were cozy in the van, weren't we? We are off to the Farita Deer. But as we just pulled out of the shop, another van pulled in next, uh, next door to us. Um, is it Daisy the Bongo? Yeah. Daisy the Bongo and it was Stuart and Rona we had a lovely chat with that couple absolutely lovely from Glasgow Paisley yeah. um, really nice couple they've been traveling and they've really enjoyed it as well um, and you can't blame them because it's absolute glorious day to day and a big shout out to Sassy the cat meow <laughs> Um, it was quite, com quite comfortable in the back of the cat. They had a cat with them. We've got four dogs. They had their cat with them. And um, Rona said she's quite comfortable in the van. So, big shout out to you. So, we're off to the ferry port now and we'll catch up with you in a bit. So we've uh, just, we're on the ferry now, ready to get back off. Uh, where are we? What's the name of this island? Burnaria. So we're on the island of Burnaria, which is really small. It's only, I think, three miles by two miles. But anyway, a bit of a nightmare. As we were coming onto the ferry, we had Alison's window down a little bit, the electric windows in the front had a window down a little bit while she was talking to the guy doing the tickets and the window is just fell into the door so it's obviously to do with the electric mechanism inside the cables and stuff something's came off um, so we're gonna have to try and get that sorted and just try and even if we can just get a temporary fix just to get the glass back up in place and just wedge it in. Luckily um, it's a beautiful sunny day. Yeah, luckily it is a nice day today because yesterday it was just rain every five minutes. Um, I think that little corner. And the wind where yeah, we were was... It had its own weather climate. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> I mean, it was a stunning place. It was a yeah, beautiful, beautiful place. Absolutely beautiful. But uh, anyway, so the first job is get off the ferry try and find somewhere where we can just stop for five minutes and assess what we're going to do with this window. Um, yeah. yeah, it comes in there. Yeah. I mean, we did get the ferry four hours early. Yeah, we, <laughs> we did. We actually came down to the ferry port. Where we were actually staying, I thought the ferry port was about 15, 20 minutes away, so I thought, oh, quite close. Oh no, we literally just turned around the corner and the ferry, the ferry was there. there. So we pulled into the car park and then we thought, shall we actually just chance it and see if we can get an earlier ferry? 
Um, because we were booked in for it was this afternoon, like four hours later, basically. Um, but they had a little bit of space on the ferry, and they've they've just let us on with the same tickets, so that was good. So yeah, big shout out to the guys at the ferry port because they've done really well and they helped us out getting us on. They've done really well. Yeah. So. Right. So. Uh just getting off. But that's a hell of a dip. Hello. Thank you. So this ferry actually cost us twenty-four pounds sixty-five pence. And it was worth it. Yeah. Look at how clear that water is. Oh my god. It was only about an hour. We had just over an hour, aren't we? Yeah. There's a little <laughs> station where you queue. That's a waiting room and toilets. There's all the traffic just queuing. Not a lot. So we're going to need somewhere quick to try and figure yeah, this window out. I'm sure there's a shop or something around here where we can park up. Yeah, there we go. Shop and mystery. That'll do us. That must be the, like the causeway. The causeway to the other island, which we will be what do later. Yeah. Waste disposal and water supply. We've got no waste. Down where we've just been. Oh, right. Where's the shop? Where's the shop? Just so we don't miss it. No, nope, that's a house. Oh, no, 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 I think there's a shop must be down there. Might be on the next sign. So basically, we have stopped at Bernaria Shop and Bistro. We just parked up at the back, and um, this lovely lady called Nicola. And this gentleman called Joel came out as Andrew was having a look at the window and they asked us if they could help, what was the problem and they couldn't have been kinder. They came out with pliers to help you get the window, uh, which nearly did it actually. Um, screwdrivers in case Andrew needed to take it, uh, take the panel off and this is in between serving males. They were such a lovely... <laughs> couple of people weren't there? There certainly were, so what they've actually said is, uh, um, yeah I've got my mic on, where is my mic? Oh Tim, I'm, I'm still on my Oh you're still on your mic? No, I don't know. Is it on? Oh, we haven't got a clue what we're doing. Anyway, we're literally heading back, we're going to head across. When, first of all, when we couldn't get the window up, the even um, went out the back and they printed off a map for us because there is actually a little garage along the next island so that's where we're driving we're driving over the causeway now to go to the garage so we're heading across now to North Hewest Alison close your window I can't you know <laughs> Hannah <laughs> What is that? Hi, cycle. So we're heading across to North Hewest now, and the, what? Sorry, what was she called, Nicola? Yeah. Yeah. So she literally said, drive over the causeway, turn right, follow the road all the way around, um, and you'll come to the garage, Simpson's garage, and she is sure that he will be able to help. So fingers crossed. Even if he can just get the glass up and just jammed in. That'll do us until we get home and I get it organised properly. But yeah, really, really helpful couple. Oh my God, um, I believe it when they printed the map off as well. Yeah. In the middle of serving lunch. Yeah, and if we get this sorted now, we will be back. We'll be heading straight back. So big shout out to um, 
to the shopping bistro on Burton Yeah, oh, massive, massive and charity. And the staff, very, yeah. very helpful, gone beyond what they could have done. Thank yeah. you. So, nice beaches down here and all. Yeah, the beach is already just trying to find this garage is amazing. I'm looking at all the little coves with the oh, green one yeah. and white beaches. Look at that, yeah. Amazing. Right, Brogan. I know you accept. He's got his own head out of the way. Look at eye. Has he got his seatbelt on? Yes, he's yeah. got his seatbelt on. Right, get back. Get back, Brogan. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, we have just been got the ferry from Burnaria. Obviously we had the problem with the window. Uh, we were advised this was the place to come, Simpson Supplies Limited. This is on North Uist. He's got loads of gear, loads of tools, loads, loads of, of parts, working. everything. Really nice guy, super kind. Um, so uh, if you're on these Outer Hebrides and you need something sorting out for your van or your car, Anything. this is the guy to come to. Oh yeah. So absolutely spot on. Did you fix it? Yeah, so we went to that garage. This was the one that was recommended to us by the... Um, the shop in the cafe, the yeah, bistro. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nicola and John. Um, We've came here, it was half an hour from there. Absolutely fantastic, highly recommended. Went in, um, the guy in the garage, unfortunately was a bit dizzy because he had a, another car booked in for a job and he also had two cars up on ramps. Yeah. Um, but he was very kind to just let us use the space in his yard, give us a few of his tools. Anything you needed. Uh, and he had loads of bits of scrap wood lying about which came in handy because obviously I've managed to get the door panel off, get the, the metal bit off that holds all the mechanism, got all of that off, uh, managed to get a scrap piece of wood wedged in between the door panel and the, the window. Um, I've actually left all of that loose um, yeah. and it'll stay like that now till we get home. But you know what? It's been sunny the whole time, no rain, and I wasn't even cold with the wind to drop. The only problem was, Andrew was aiming for puddles and forgot I didn't have a winter. <laughs> yeah, he found that highly funny. Yeah, I wasn't really aiming for puddles, but you know, yeah. fine. So we're going back to the base store and we're going to have a cup of coffee and yeah, something yes, to eat. And them too, properly. Yeah. they really helped us out. Massively. I couldn't believe they went beyond. They'll be so sort of all like we'll get to the beast draw and there'll be no left. <laughs> <laughs> so we're travelling back. And obviously, exactly like being at home, we've got a tractor in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> or waiting for chips. That's, that's about you, Sia. Yeah. Well, only when I'm in a chip shop then. Only when you're in a chip shop. Because well, I pass. don't cook. How friendly is that? <laughs> is that your little horn? Oh, you're not. That's then, horrendous. I, I thought it was a tractor's. The bad thing is, the wind has just dropped again. But the good thing is, come and have a look at this. So this old park up for the night. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's plenty of room for the dog to run. Yes, and there's bound to be a little slant thing down. Water looks lovely. Yeah. So we'll park here. That's going to be our park for the night. Um, so, where are we now? We are on the east coast um, of um, where I say that first island. Really nice anyway, I'm going to just show you, this is our park up, um, just flick that round and let you see. The beach is absolutely stunning. White sands, turquoise water, absolutely beautiful. All the dogs have been out, just had a run. Bracken is, where are you son? 
<laughs> he's been in the sea. <laughs> so we've just managed to get him dried. Now the good thing about where we're parked at the moment as well is it's a real grassy area on the top. Just a big, it's it's dedicated sort of picnic park up area so it's ideal. So we've had Bracken run along the beach and the other dogs and he's been in and out the sea and when he's came back covered in sand and soaking wet I've just ran him up and down the grass and he's dried out and cleared all the sand off and then just dried him off a little bit, a little bit more with a towel haven't we son? No, I'm talking to you. Get down. <laughs> Get down. So, yeah, so all good. Um, I think we might stay here. Well, we're definitely going to stay here tonight. See what the weather's like tomorrow. If it's a nice day tomorrow, I think we'll just stay here as well. Um, and then, I'm lost off with the days now. I think it's Thursday today. Um, Sunday, we get the next furry from south Uist across to Auburn so but even driving round Uist isn't big so like I say we can actually the ferry's early Sunday morning so we can spend today uh, t today and tomorrow here and then the next day we can travel round and down and just get a little bit closer to where we need to be for the ferry and just enjoy the views as we're traveling but thoroughly enjoying it so far as I say, it's been a quite long road trip for us. Um, and obviously with four dogs. Bracken, get your paws in. He's a little trier. He leans out that window just far enough. As I say, we've got a little shelf on the back. And he likes to stand on the shelf as our Lily giving us a kiss. I'm getting a kiss of our Lily. Oh, is our Daisy getting jealous? Our Daisy coming in for a kiss. Oh, I told him getting kisses. Oh, no, no, tell me you're getting kisses. <laughs> This is why I'm bald on the top, isn't it? This is why I'm bald on the top. Get down. <laughs> Tell you what, the little chances. And yes, little chances. Morning, everybody. So, after a wonderful night, parked on this beach, uh, we're just getting sorted. Get just had some there. breakfast, sorted the van out a little bit. Get <laughs> yeah, just give you a. There's Alison uh, washing her hair, camper van style. <laughs> Stay there, girls. Get in. Get oh, in. Just let them out for a little bit. I'll watch them. Right, as old Bracken. Go on, Daisy. Lily, come here. Just run about with Bracken for a bit. Lily, this way. This way. <laughs> Double trouble there, them two. Come here, Lily. Dizzy. Here now. It's alright, I'm watching them. Yeah, these two still need to learn the boundaries. Good thing is, when they're out bracken, they'll tend to follow him when I'm shouting. Right, come on. Dizzy, Lily. Hey. Right, that's it. Come here. <laughs> come here. Yeah, we little tinker. Daisy getting away or poo? Uh, we. Right, come on. <laughs> Bracken, this way. That's it, good girl. All right, they're just running. <laughs> Daisy, in the van. <laughs> you all right, I'm watching them. In, that's it, good. Bracken, come on, in. <laughs> get in. <laughs> Bracken, get in, in. Get in.
up the west coast in the morning to find a place. Say <laughs> cool. Let's break free. 